Hey YouTube, USA Second Amendment here with a, another holster video for you guys. This holster setup is actually for my wife. My wife finally got her concealed carry permit and um, she's been uh, running a lot, getting in shape a lot um, and uh, she wanted a way to carry a gun while she's running. Sometimes she's running through trails, through woods. Um, usually she's running by herself. Sometimes, you know, around the block, uh, in the neighborhood, uh, just different terrains. But let's get right into it. So obviously you guys can see crossbreed holsters. There's their website. Turn this around for you. And this is awesome. I'll let you guys read that. Very cool. The first thing I did when I got this was I read the back. Um, so yeah, it comes in this bag. Cool presentation. Let's open it up. See what's in here. Now it's not a typical crossbreed holster that you think of. First thing to pull out. Alright. So that looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Okay. Set that there. I'll explain that in a minute. Here's another one. Okay, same type setup. And then that's it. That's an empty part of the bag. The holster. Now you might be saying, what is that? So this is a belly band holster for those of you that are not familiar with that. Okay, this is the uh, crossbreed version. You see right here it says ICE training. And ICE, let me just read this to you here, stands for integrity, consistency, and efficiency. So there you see it says size small. So this was the smallest they make. So this uh, is the size I got because my wife is pretty small. Uh, just to put that in perspective, my wife is about a size two to four. So if anybody's out or any ladies out there looking for it uh, or thinking about size, I knew she was going to be the smallest. Uh, the sizes on their website go by men sizes. It's like size 28 to 34 is a small. Um, I can tell you right now, I wear a 34 pants. This is too small for me. So keep that in mind um, if you're a guy looking for a belly band. Um, so anyway, let's get into the holster itself a little bit. There's a little pouch right here you guys can see. All right, and you can just put your uh, keys in there, your ID in there, um, stuff like that. Um, and then the holster itself, let's open it up. All right, so the holster itself, one big long piece of elastic. It is stretchy, um, so it goes around your waist, okay, like this. Now, one of the reasons I went with this holster, the crossbreed specifically, versus some other belly bands is for this reason. You take one of these, okay, this one, let's see, let me tell you right which one's which. Okay, this one is for the SIG 2022. She loves this gun. This is actually her favorite gun. It was my gun. It's pretty much now hers. And this is for her Walther PK380. So I'll use this to demonstrate. But basically you put this on the belly band. There's these attachment points. All these Velcro points, right? They got one, two, three, four. All right. Really you got three because it needs to attach here at the front and it needs to attach here at the back. So I'll give you guys a wide shot there. So you got these three main things. So let's say we just go with the middle right now, just for the sake of this video. This then comes over that and then cinches down. Okay. So your holster ends up sandwiched in between two uh, pieces of the belly band. Um, and then obviously your gun is in there. Now, the beautiful thing about this belly band is that it uses 
a kydex shell. So you have positive retention, you have something that's going to keep the gun from moving around or shifting. A lot of the belly band holsters that I was looking at for her uh, are universal fit, which is great if you have different guns, which she does. She likes to carry different guns, as you can see. So if she gets a different gun, I got to order another shell. But it's positive retention, it clicks into place, it's not going to move around, and it just it's, it's a more secure fit, in my opinion. So that's why I liked this one. I did a lot of research looking at reviews and everything. And that's why I went with the crossbreed simply because of this right here. Because it incorporated a Kydex shell with a belly band. Only company that I saw through all my research that does that. So yeah. So again, so first one goes right here. This goes over it. And you, you cinch this down, right? You can pull this nice and snug, nice and tight. And then obviously it connects over here. Now, here's something cool also, okay? Let me take this back off for you guys. So the shell itself, you can adjust it. If you like it to have a little bit more cant, you can do that. Okay, so there you see, a little bit more cant. Same concept, this comes over. This wraps over, and it's still the same thing. It's just got more cant to it. Um, you can adjust cant and all that. She wanted to wear this specifically on the small of her back. If you guys notice, if you've been watching already, both of these are left-handed holsters. She is not left-handed. She is right-handed. However, she wants it for the small of her back. We went over. We did some a little bit of draw practice, drawing, dry, drawing the gun, uh, out of an imaginary holster on her back before we ordered this. And the way she wants to draw it out of her back, um, she needed a left hand holster, okay? She wants to stick her right hand behind her back with her palm away from her body, not towards her body, okay? Away from her body. She's gonna grab the grip, pull it out, and then press out to the target. Um, so we got a left hand holster. Like I said, um, it's going to work great. At least I think it's going to work great. She has not used this yet. Uh, she hasn't tested it out. This is literally out of the package. So what you see is what you get. Um, as far as quality of the holsters themselves go, awesome. Uh, it's Crossbreed. Crossbreed has a very well uh, known name, a very good reputation in the holster world. I've never owned one of their holsters before, but I know guys that have, and uh, I've always heard good things. So, there's no uh, rough edges here. Everything's smoothed off, rounded off. So, yeah, I don't know what else. I don't know what else to say about the uh, the holsters themselves. Okay, let's put those down. All right, the belly band itself, let's get into that. Let's see, you got stitching here, you can see. All right, now this, I can tell you, if an area is gonna start, this this will be the problem area. It'll be this little stuff right here. Let me get that to focus in for you guys. Okay, it'll be this stuff right here. Hopefully there you see like that right there that stuff Right there where it's threaded into this little bit of elastic But it still looks good. It still looks like it's done with quality The stitching is nice and straight nice and clean lines All the way down Oh already got some dirt on it. Oh well Stitching on the hook and loop. Let's look at the back of that to see it stitching. Clean stitching, clean lines. So yeah. Not much else to say, guys. Pretty, uh, oh, sorry. Bumped my camera there. Pretty straightforward. She needed a way, or wanted a way, rather, to run... Okay, she wanted a way to run with a firearm. 
Um, now, I know some of you are thinking, when I mentioned the two firearms there, okay, some of you are thinking, man, those are huge guns. Why would you run with the huge guns? Okay, here's the thing. I told her that. I mentioned, hey, why don't you try to run with one of my smaller guns? Like, I have a Car CW380. Very small, compact, uh, like a pocket pistol, basically. I actually carry it on my ankle sometimes when I wear a suit. And uh, it'd be a perfect running gun because it's lightweight, not going to get in the way. It's not bulky, anything like that. She's like, no. I like my SIG 2022, and I like my Walther PK380. And I said, okay. So, let's do it. Let's try it. So, that's why. Uh, no other reason. She likes those guns. She's comfortable with them. She can shoot them well. Um, and, and that's about it. So, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you hadn't hit the like button yet, please hit that. Subscribe. Uh, I try to get out a video a week. It doesn't always happen. But that's my goal is one video per week for you guys. If you have any suggestions for videos, leave them below in the comment section. Leave them below. Um, I love suggestions for videos. Even if it takes me a while to get around to it, um, that's fine. Just let, let me know uh, what your guys' thoughts are or what you would like to see. And if I can make it happen, I will. So hopefully you guys are having a good day. Stay safe out there. God bless.